Hey guys, this is Caitlin Trout from Juggernaut Training Systems. Um, I posted on Facebook that I would answer three questions on video, um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, the first question I was asked was, what do I do to cut weight for me? And that's kind of cool because I'm going through that process right now, so it's really fresh in my mind. Um, what I do usually is um, two weeks before the meet, I will start drinking a gallon of water a day. And that's not a lot. Um, that's just kind of um, getting rid of some excess stuff in my body because usually I don't drink that much water even though I should. Um, so it's just kind of prepping myself for um, an even larger amount of water to drink and getting ready to do that. Um, two weeks, I mean one week before the meet, I will increase my water intake to about two, two and a half gallons a day, um, sometimes three just depending on how much I have to cut. This time I'm cutting about eight pounds, so I will drink three. Um, and I'll also manipulate my diet. Um, I cut out all of my carbs the week of the meat and just eat um, smaller portions of food but making sure that I get a lot of fats because that's what I use as an energy source because I do carb backloading. Um, it may be different for other people. If you're not carb backloading, um, I wouldn't recommend just eating you know, fats. <laughs> that probably won't help. But what I do is um, I'll mark my um, protein down to about five ounces and then um, probably like three ounces of vegetables like keeping it um, really green and leafy like I'll have lettuce with um, maybe a little bit of olive oil and some Mrs. Dash spice with that um, it makes it easier to digest if you keep them um, leafy and other than like broccoli or something like that um, and I'll drink three gallons until the day before weigh-ins. The day that you weigh in, you want to stop drinking water um, around five o'clock so that you can get it all out of your body before the next morning and um, be ready. Um, and what you will eat, you will not eat solid food that evening. Um, you will want to have like a protein shake, no carbs, or if you're on carb backloading, I just, um, it sounds really gross, but I will actually have coconut oil um, just to have something to run on so I'm not dying. Um, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, I, another question was like, what kind of cardio do I do whenever I'm cutting weight? And um, it, it changes because um, I'll start like a month out kind of uh, watching my weight um, to make things easier and I'll do um, high intensity, um, you know, HIT is what they call it, um, cardio workouts um, just to sweat and burn some fat. Um, I do it on my off days when I'm not lifting so it doesn't um, affect my performance because you, at that point I'm getting really heavy with my lifts trying to figure out what I'm going to attempt um, so I make sure not to do that kind of training on my lifting days um, as I get closer to the meet I'll dial it down probably to 30 minutes and I'll do things like um, the stair climber and walking on an incline on a treadmill um, and I'll do that like a, two weeks out um, Mostly I'll do the stair climber a week out because for some reason I just sweat so much more um, and I'll do it for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, very low intense speed so that I'm not um, affecting my muscles or anything like that. You're just trying to sweat. Um, so that's pretty much what I do. Uh, the third question Oh yeah, I remember now. Um, somebody asked me what my favorite assistance um, exercise was for sumo or conventional uh, deadlifts. And that's kind of um, 
what I do with my training is I'll do the main lift and then I'll do two accessory um, lifts with the main lift. So if you're talking about that, I really like to use deficits, like a three inch deficit um, for conventional. Um, that's my opposite stance. So I always do conventional deficits as like an assistance movement. Um, it's my favorite. I feel like it has improved my um, speed off of the floor tremendously. Um, and also, like, I have to use my back more, obviously, so that helps my lockout, too. And that's my main problem with my sumo deadlift, and it has helped it a lot, too, um, just by doing deficits. Um, if you're talking about just um, after the main movements um, in my workout, I really love glute ham raises. Um, I can tell a huge difference in my squat, even, um, implementing those um, it just builds up your glutes your hamstrings um, but it has helped my lockout because my glutes were a weakness um, I was not pulling them through um, or uh, really squeezing them to get that extra two inches up in my lockout so if you're having that problem I would definitely recommend glute pain raises but anyway, those were the three that I wanted to talk about. Also, um, if you check out my log this next week where I won't be training, instead of writing training logs, I'll be writing mini articles and I'll actually answer some of the other questions that I w was asked in that um, thread on Facebook. So keep a watch out for that. And, um, you know, hope this helps and be on the lookout for some more stuff. See you guys later.